Now having recently reviewed the Dell G15 SC laptop and find it quite an incredible value package that provides an amazing amount of performance, the only real gripe I had with this machine was the fact that Dell shipped it with a 30mm Gen 3 SSD and also the fact that there is only one M.2 in this model unlike the M15 R7. So in this video, I'm going to remove that biggest gripe about this laptop. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the SSD in this machine from a 30mm Gen 3 drive to an 80mm Gen 4 2TB PCIe SSD. And by doing that, this will then become a fantastic all-around package that you're not going to be struggling for storage space on for quite some time. Now this is quite a straightforward job, but I will be running through this step by step in case you've got no experience opening up the laptop. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You may need a pry tool. You're also going to need an 8GB flash drive for your Windows 11 ISO. Now there will be some instructions at the end how to create that in case you've never done that before. And lastly you're going to need an SSD and I'll put some links down below for the Gen 4 drives I've used in this video. And also you're probably going to need to buy a copper plate because these Gen 4 drives do run hot and because we're moving from a 30mm to an 80mm drive we can't reuse the one that Dell provides. Okay so put your laptop upside down on either a mouse mat or a cloth so you don't actually scratch your lid and use your Phillips screwdriver to undo the eight screws. Now the bottom left and right screw are captive and as you unscrew them it does stop moving the base plate away from the laptop and allowing you to easily either put your nails or a pry tool into the corners and lift away the actual base plate itself. So once we're inside, first things first, unplug the battery. Unlike me, I always forget to do this, but I know I should. And here we see the tiny 30mm SSD, so we need to unscrew both the heatsink and the drive and remove them. Now carefully pop out the bracket and move it to the 80mm spot. It is tight, so if you can't do this with your fingers, make sure you use a pry tool. Do not use a screwdriver inside the laptop. Once that bracket is in the 80mm slot, plug in your new drive and screw it down. Now because I've used a copper plate, I needed to install this onto the actual drive itself before putting it on, but you could also contact Dell to buy the proper 80mm heatsink. Uh, your luck will vary with Dell with that, and sometimes they'll give it to you for free, sometimes they will charge you for it. Now once your new drive is in, plug the battery back and put on the base plate, pop it back over, and it's time to install Windows. But before installing Windows, we do need to quickly go into BIOS by pressing F12 and then selecting BIOS. Go to the Storage tab and change it from RAID to AHCI. If I left it in RAID, I didn't see the actual drive itself in the Windows installer. Apply and exit to come out of BIOS. Plug in your USB flash drive. And again, on boot, press F12 and select that new flash drive to boot. This will then start the thumb drive's Windows installer. Once you get to the Windows Setup screen, select a custom install, and you'll see there may be some drive partitions in there. If you've got any partitions, select them and delete them so that you've got all the drive unallocated. Select it and hit Next. Windows will now install on the drive. A problem that I encountered is there was no Wi-Fi drivers on my Windows 11 ISO. So I plugged in a Wi-Fi cable just to complete the setup. And from there you follow the prompts and you sign in with your Microsoft account and that will get you into a nice fresh copy of Windows 11. Once you're in that copy of Windows 11, use your Windows Update to get all the updates that you can and then go to the link in my description here to the actual Dell website, uh, put in your service tag or just select your model number and all the Dell drivers are there for you. This allows you to put all the decent drivers on and gets rid of all the Dell bloat and the bloatware that you get with a G15 series. This is my preferred way of installing Windows on any of the laptops that I buy. Now actually once this is done, I'm just going to run a quick crystal disk mark so you can see the speed of this drive and you can see what a massive difference it is from our puny 30mm 512 drive to this really fast and affordable Gen 4 2TB SSD drive. Now remember the links in the description for these drives are down below and that will take you to Amazon so that you can get a good price on these drives. I've always found them cheaper there. Also when you're buying a drive for this machine there is plenty of space in this actual laptop for a double-sided 4TB drive as well so you could go right up to the maximum 4TB limit for an SSD for this laptop. And then once this is done, you can now enjoy your new laptop with plenty of storage space, which should hopefully last you for a fair few years. Now, hopefully this has been useful for you. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe. There's plenty more technical and review content coming. And as always, thanks for watching.